Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. 2011 pistols are the hottest thing going in today's market. They are huge. People love them. The double stack, 9mm, 1911-like pistol that is dubbed a 2011. But they are very expensive. They typically go between two and $4,000. And people love them, but they certainly hurt the bank account a bit, that's for sure. And I've had several people say, if I could pick one of those up for under a grand, I would be all over it. And that's what we're talking about today, because Live Free Armory came out with a handgun called the Apollo 11, and the MSRP on this is $979. And you may think, well, it's probably skimping on something. It actually doesn't. It checks all the boxes, so let's get to it. It ships with this Savior Equipment bag loaded with pockets. It even comes with the Live Free Armory oil, which is pretty cool. Mags, you name it, all kinds of stuff. Savior Equipment makes great stuff. I have a couple of their rifle bags. So I like I like that a lot. That it ships with this very nice bag. But here's the Apollo 11. This thing is made in America. It's value priced. All the components are made in America. It is hand fitted, hand polished, hand assembled. And it is a beautiful 2011. It's available in black, flat dark earth, and gray and they all look super cool i've seen them all this is the black very much pleased with it but check out that grip that is one nice grip it's a form of a polymer i wish wish i was a chemist i could tell you all the details about it but i'm not a chemist but i can tell you this it feels great in the hand it has a real nice scalp like texturing all throughout the front strap here we have the flat mainspring housing, beautiful looking and feeling grip with that. And it ships with a 17 round magazine made by Live Free Armory. All right, and other mags will be available, but for the 979, it ships with one 17 round magazine. I like the way the slide forward serrations look. It actually blends with the frame. You see that? blends with right down there with the frame even on the top strap a bit and then it has these lightning cuts near the muzzle check that out i love the way that looks and it helps with slide action and ambidextrous thumb safety all right a low profile ambi thumb safety it's not the type that goes way out you really don't need that you know just sweep down and it is left-handed friendly but that's important and then the slide action is very smooth, extremely smooth, light spring weight, and it has a 4.7 inch bushingless bull barrel. Love this thing. It's optic ready. It is cut to fit an RMSC. So a variety of optics that will fit on the Apollo 11. If you don't go with optics, it has serrated black rear sights and a tritium front sight. Okay, nice touch there. Now the trigger is what keeps people coming back to 1911. You ask anybody what they love about a 1911 or a 2011, they will say, I love that trigger. And you can see the way that's cut right there. But I showed clear, it is breaking at three and a half pounds with a reset right there. And that is what brings people back to 2011s all the time. I think it's great. Has the grip safety there, extended beaver tail, skeletonized hammer, overall nice looking and shooting handgun. And it has the Live Free Armory logo right there. Maybe you could see that. Check out that grip too. I really like the way that looks and feels in the hand. All right. So I took it to an indoor range. We're snowed in here and I shot this. Range Dynamics, made by Fiocchi, 147 grain, 9 millimeter. I also shot 124 grain, 9 millimeter. Just as a function test, until I can get out to the range, I want to mount an optic and head out to the range and ring some steel with this, because there is nothing more fun than shooting a 2011. And in this case, a value-priced 
2011. Under a grand. I, I am impressed. Has a four slot pick rail there. And once again, a three and a half pound trigger. So let's go ahead and show some of that indoor range footage. And we'll come back and talk more about it. As you can see with that footage, it is extremely flat shooting with that bowl barrel and the overall function with the recoil reducing system that Lip Free Armory added to the Apollo 11 and the flat shooting and the crisp trigger and that grip and the overall feel and function of the 2011 is amazing. And I am trying my hardest to see what they skimped on to keep the price so low. Being that it's all made in America and hand fitted and polished and everything else, and I can't find it. Now, I've had my share of 2011s and shooting them. And when I shot this, I saw no great difference in a negative way, given the cost. And so I'm thinking for under a grand, it's, it's got to be one of the best deals going. And I, I'm not just saying that, but if you really price these out, you would see how much of a value this is. Love the way the slide looks there, and that's how it blends into the frame. I like that tritium front dot because I did not use an optic, which is what I want to do. But anyhow, it's a great looking handgun. Love the bag. Really love this Savior Equipment bag, but I love the pistol even more. So what I'm going to do is put a nice dot on there and sight that sucker in and eventually get out to my outdoor range, ring some steel, and show you what this thing's capable of, and I think you will be even more impressed. It's value priced. It's a value all around, but in no way possible is it cheap and it matches up with the competition's $2,500 2011s easily with my experience so far and I look forward to showing you more of this in the future if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe